Okay, so ask this lovely question uh, on what blocks me from doing what I know, I, you know, I could do that would make me feel better, like meditating in the morning. And um, a few things on this, what I found, um, I mean, you know, I go to 12 step groups a lot. And I always um, say to people, I mean, in, I'm in a food addiction 12 step program, I always say like first thing in the morning, um, and I do, I try and get on my knees and and do a few prayers. I do the St. Francis, I do some 12 steps, I do some Course in Miracles prayers. Um, and I have this thing which has developed over the years. So I start with, um, also pray for some people as well. Pray to let go of some fears. Um, remember some of my profound spiritual experiences and, uh, do the, and end with the St. Francis prayer. And some days, you know, I wake up and, you know, there's a thought like, I don't want to do my prayers this morning, but I've always, I think, you know, I can't remember a time when I haven't done it. Probably the last time I know I didn't do it was when I was in hospital after an operation. But um, so I think I've always done it more or less every day. And, um, and that for me is just to signify having something to start the day, which is more important and that is spiritual than everything else in my life. I found that to be very indispensable from me in the sense that um, um, even though there might be resistance, but it's like the thing with me now is like you do your prayers or just lie in bed. And so you, if you want to get out of bed, then get, get on your knees first and then pray. You're not allowed to go to the loo, you're not allowed to do anything, you're not allowed to have breakfast, just do your prayers. And I, I do that and I find that difficult. Some days, some days very easy, uh, you know, I'm waking up with lots of energy and zest and some days not. But uh, by doing that, it, it shifts something very, very profoundly that I've got the willingness to do that every morning. And after I do the prayers, it's like it's relatively easy to get on with the, the things that I think are intuitively I need to do. So. Um, so by doing, uh, by getting on my knees first thing in the morning and making that a priority, I then, um, I then do, um, I then do, um, uh, I then do do the rest of the things. Um, so, so that's one thing I've learned. I also learned that after my hospital visit, that. Um, uh, uh, I stopped my routine, my daily spiritual routine for a period of time. And that created, um, that meant that it was very hard to rebuild the momentum. And what I found by not having a morning spiritual routine was that it's very hard to reestablish one. So when I do reestablish spiritual routines, I know that to let them go um, would probably mean that it would be very, very difficult. And I also found out that it was doing a huge amount for me having my, at that time, prayer routine and my um, uh, my Course in Miracles and my Field of Feelings practice. So letting it go, I then found that things were much more manageable, much more difficult and much more fuzzy. So there was a longing to return. I think when you let things go, which are spiritual routines, you then hanker back to the happiness and freedom you had when you were doing them on a regular basis. That's one thing. Uh, the other thing is, um, which is a classic one, praying for willingness to do this. Um, also just sharing about it tends to reduce the, uh, the pent up things. Um, trying to make something early in the morning very, very important before you do other stuff does sort of, um, it does, you know, other, you know, like I often would say to people I talk to around food addiction, like if the very first thing you do in the morning is have a donut um, before you pray and you think, well, usually because you've chosen the ego, something ego like uh, eating a donut or watching TV or reading some negative news as the first thing, then you're, then it's like the vibration, it's this level of consciousness, the spiritual vibration isn't good and it's like the ego gains ground. So another way to look at it 
um, which I found very, very helpful, which I got from uh, Dr. Hawkins, Dr. David R. Hawkins teachings was thing of what's my spiritual vibration when I, when, when I don't do some spiritual activities, especially early in the morning. So if I go into more of an ego, uh, if I go into, if like the first thing in the morning, I'm eating donuts, I'm uh, reading negative articles and, um, and looking at some conspiracy theories, then um, that already sucks me into a vibratory field, which means that my ego is more dominant. And so the next, even though I might've had the intention to do my prayers and to do my spiritual practice, now I've let the ego in the first thing in the morning. And so it's probably, I'm gonna be in that field of ego resistance. And once I'm in the ego resistance first thing in the morning, even though I had the good intention to do my spiritual things, it's like I'm not connected. And so the ego will probably choose something else like have another donut or just spend a few more hours watching TV. So it's like a negative fulfilling cycle. Whereas if I start in the morning, like I do getting on my knees and doing my various prayers, then I start up with uh, tuning myself to a high vibration. And then I do actually find that I feel much more positive. And also in my, when I get on my knees and after doing my prayers, it's like I have the next right intuition of what I need to be doing. It's like all the hunches and intuitions come in because I decided to do my prayers. And I know whenever I get disconnected during the day or have a grievance or something, I get disconnected and then that can lead to more distraction behaviors because I know I'm not tuned in. And I often do things which are not the things I, which would be the, of the highest good for me. So praying for willingness, uh, trying to get into a good habit first thing in the morning with anything that's spiritual, could be meditation, could be prayers, could be listening to some spiritual audio um, or doing a Course in Miracles lesson and trying to do that. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it tunes you to spirit. And then the next right thing is most likely to happen. Then if the very first thing in the morning, one is doing something that might reduce the, the, the connection to the divine. Um, let me just think of uh, what blocks me from doing what I need to do. Okay, another thing is like, what if I've got things that I need to do today, which I've got a lot of resistance to do? I mean, habitually for me, that would be like, oh my God, I have to do taxes today. Um, and my ego would say, I do not want to do inland revenue taxes today. I'd rather do it another day. <laughs> and then, who wants to do inland revenue today? Um, and uh, so, uh, but what I do find with that is that if I, um, um, I'll just have to weaken up that res ego resistance if there's something really difficult that I know I need to do. And then usually I will do it. So I just need to do, start doing a few simple spiritual actions. I do something which is, um, I can do various things. It depends how big the resistance is to do something which my ego is saying it doesn't want to do. But um, I do a 12 steps, step 10. Sometimes I'll write a step 10 and email it to my buddy with how my ego is seeing the situation. And there's great relief. It suddenly feels like, and I'll, I'll, I'll put in, I know I should be doing it. My ego is resisting. I've got, I've got resentment against having to pay taxes, whatever it is, stick it all down and then uh, put my prayer at the end of it and send it off to him. And it sounds like a weight's lifted. And most times I'll actually start doing the work. Miraculously, it's like my ego resistance is out of the way and I'll start doing something. Um, sometimes if there, uh, another thing is if there's extreme resistance to do something extreme that I don't want to do or my ego doesn't want to do, then what I found is I found a very, very easy way in my experience, which is, um, um, Surrendering, I, I surrender to God my unwillingness to do whatever it is uh, and pray for miracles and transcendence. So it could be, uh, for example, it could be I surrender to God my unwillingness to do my inland revenue taxes um, uh, 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 and I pray for a, mir uh, I pray for a miracle uh, and to see this differently. So it could be that, but I'll do it because I find that very, I love praying. So there's no resistance to praying. There, are, I mean, there can be a resistance to doing starting in revenue, start doing your inland revenue taxes now. The ego will sometimes say, no, it doesn't want to do that. But praying, it doesn't have any resistance. So I'll actually pray uh, for the willingness to do it. 
No, I don't put any pressure on myself. I just pray and, and pray for a miracle and, and to hand over my unwillingness. And, and it does work. I find that works. I've been I lately found with my, you know, anything that my ego has got a fear, got a resentment, got unwillingness. But you know, I just, you know, I'll just pray uh, every day, sometimes hundreds of times uh, over and over again. And it, it does miraculously have an effect. 